Pardon the mess, but a little bit of update on this thing. Sure enough, I did all that bragging about this little mini PC, and uh, it won't turn on now. I uh, went to, so basically I got this thing all loaded up with uh, Home Assistant and everything set up and had it running and opened up the Home Assistant app and gave me an error. And so I tried to plug in the monitor to this thing and nothing. Monitor fires up, no signal. It's got the power cycle, let's turn it on. Nothing. No no boot, no BIOS. Not getting anything, no signal at all. Hmm. All right, so we can try. Resetting the CMOS, all right? So it's got this little hole and you're supposed to push this for like 10 seconds. All right, so that ought to be plenty of time. All right, so let's uh, try it again. No signal, no nothing, no boot, no BIOS, no nothing. So, well, um, put in an SSD in this thing, so I guess we can try to take that SSD back out, see if somehow that's causing problems. All right, so pull that out. Give her another shot just to see if that was interfering. That drive had Home Assistant on it. Okay, so boot now. Nothing. Hmm. All right, so what next? Grab the uh, fancy pants tester here. All right, 12.25, so it doesn't seem to be a power supply issue. All right, well, what next? Um, we can take it a little bit more apart. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, next thing I can try is let me see if, you know, just in case that uh, M2 is having a problem, take it out. Let's see if that'll just straight boot. Maybe there was some problem there. Long shot. I'm going to give it every chance. No signal. Nothing. So still nothing will post. No BIOS will come up. Nothing. All right. Let me get this thing out of here. Look at the other side. All right. So let's see uh, if anything's showing up hot. Sometimes this will... Uh, That's the controller on the SSD. It's like something on the underside over there up here that's not super hot. There's a, it's like a capacitor next to the SATA cable. Nothing crazy. Let's see if I've got view to see. Yeah, I mean, that chip that looks like it's crazy hot, it's not that bad. It's 45 Celsius. It's not that bad at all, 47. Not crazy. Um, so nothing looking like it's melted down on the PCB anywhere. 
Um, so let's see. Let's, uh... All right, so we're looking at the uh, the other side now. Let's see if we see anything heating up. Some of the VRM there, but again, I don't think that's that crazy hot. Yeah, 35, 36 Celsius is all I'm saying. Maybe 40. Yeah, 41. But if something's broken and overheating, usually it'll just be glowing bright as day. Um, thinking maybe something shorted out. I don't know. We're getting anything yet. Put the M2 drive back in it, so it should be booting up into Windows instead of home assistant nothing and nothing's getting too crazy hot I mean it looks like part of the VRM here is hot but it's not like crazy hot it's not broken hot you know I mean you're looking at 40 Celsius that's basically nothing so last thing I can try is trying to uh, disconnect the battery All right, so we got that off. So now we can try it without the uh, the CMOS battery. See if that helps. CPU fires up, but that fan's been firing up anyway. Just nothing. Not getting anything out of it. So, I don't know, um, not really sure what's going on with this thing, but it sure does seem dead, so I guess I'm going to uh, start an RMA on it, get it replaced. I got it from Amazon, so I can send it back, but I did want to update y'all that, um, yeah, looks like this little sucker already died. Not even not even a week. Um, honestly, I only had it in real use for not even 24 hours. So, I guess, I guess the, the conclusion of that is, yeah, I don't, recommend these um don't look like they're they're uh there for the long haul so i guess i'm stuck because i paid my own money for this thing but yeah it looks like it's already died and i um, not sure what else to do I've tried resetting the cmos um let me try it one more time let me plug this thing back in Yeah, nothing. Uh, you know, I've tried everything I can think of. The power supply seems to be good. Um, tried different hard drives. I've, you know, unplugged the CMOS, tried to reset the CMOS. She just looks brit. Don't know. Anyway, so that's the update. You know, kind of bummed on my end, but good for maybe you guys who are looking at buying this thing that, uh, yeah, maybe not. Maybe look for something a little higher quality. You know, I guess you pay 180 bucks and you don't get much. But um, there you go. That's that's the uh, the conclusion of that review. Anyway, uh, if you got any feedback, you see anything that I've done wrong? Um, you know, as far as like, is there something else I could test? I don't know. Um, I don't have another RAM stick to test, but uh, that's all I could think of because that's the only other thing there is. So, anyway, uh, if you got any comments, feedback, leave it down below. Thanks.